down this ridge, the top of up here, probably about an hour ago. We were calling a box car to hit these bottles. Like there's something with goblin. Nothing with goblin. So I just went back towards the house. And probably 30 minutes I got the car and I was heading down the road. I was heading over to the little east to try it out. So I get up on the road right here. And I had to look over and right where I was just standing, there's this rock wall, there's a field. There he is. Just, I mean, he's just strutting his life away. I stopped and looked. I didn't see no hens with him. But I figured it was one somewhere in this woods. So I got my Strut and Jake, which I'll show you all a picture of. And I attached him to my tripod, my camera on it. And I eased up through here. Back over about 80 yards, I dropped turkey vest, took it off. And from all that, so I saw a little thorn bush over here. I seen a hen come walking up. And I knew he'd be following her. And so I just kind of set up and waited. And sure enough, I saw the fan start coming up over the little, to the top of the ridge here. And uh, he stood right back and forth right here. I thought he was going to walk the opposite direction. So I got him. Well, I'm guessing about 40 yards. And he wouldn't come out of strut for nothing. And all my calls are my vest. So I kind of just wiggled my head. When I wiggled my head, he came out. About half strut, stuck a head up, took me out. And uh, I shot him. He dropped. Shot hit a little low. I'm in the lower neck area, but uh, it is what it is, a little farther than I, than I wanted, and I was kind of campy when I shot, so it wasn't the best angle, but I had a clear visual of his head and his neck and everything, and he was dead when he hit the ground. Uh, Mr. Beard got about 10, 11 inch beard on, we'll give you a pistol measurement later. Uh, he got about an inch, inch and a half of fur. Uh, his wings are all tore up, all wore out, he's been strutting a bunch. This is probably the same bird I can see on his ridge. Uh, on several occasions, he, he was just never here when I was hunting, uh, and he never gobbled. He roosts on top of the ridge behind us here, and he'll gobble on the limb, but then once he funky flies down, he won't gobble the rest of the day. Um, so we got, from today, we got two more weeks in the season, so I've still got time to get me one more. There's several on this farm. Uh, thank you for my neighbors for allowing me to hunt over here. Uh, Last year I lived here, Coyote out of here for him, and they were happy about that. He's got cattle running all over the place. Looks like he's looking around because there's one bull that me and him have already had some words this season. Uh, and there's one goat, lamb thing, super mean. So I'm always watching him. Him. But, so, I'm not even sure on the date right now. The date's April 25th. 5.06 right now. It's 64 and sunny, slight breeze. Uh, we've got some storms coming in this weekend. Uh, not really anything crazy, just some spring showers. with the rain Thursday or Sunday, I believe, right now. Um, so we'll have plenty of time to get out here and get the 